Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Nerd It This Way. I'm Mahalia, and today we will be talking about Kindle book recommendations. If you hear shuffling, it's my dog. He's trying to get comfortable. Just ignore that. So I'm going to be looking down at a paper and hopefully have like a few pictures up. Maybe. Don't know yet. But I will be talking about um, giving like a little overview of, you know, the series or um, standalones. So yeah, let's get into this video. And if you are like, why your face look funny? It's because I just came back from the dentist and like, my face is numb. But I really wanted to get this video done because I am trying to be consistent. I'm trying. Okay, so I broke up my list based off of um, different parts of fantasy. So I have like alien abduction, romance, and uh, regular like werewolves, um, shifter romance, pretty much. And so I'm gonna start with the shifter romance and the very, very first, I think, yeah, the very first shifter series I read on Kindle, like way back when, was uh oh man i can't read your own handwriting okay so ruby dixon she has like tons and tons of series some of them are long some of them are short but her um fire blood dragon series is post-apocalyptic and it is it's different like it follows um, these girl, different girls, all the books are standalone. So you can read, like, you can read them out of order and not, like, be like, oh no, who are these characters? Because sometimes they do, like, flashbacks. And there are about four to five books right now. And I've read, I think, each of them twice. So all the books I will be talking about have, like, sex scenes in them. So if you're, like, a, not into that in reading, you could either skip it or you know don't read the books i i don't know what to tell you it is what it is like these are not like ya books i guess like you know they have like the sexual attention in ya this don't have that not at all this is straight adult life level so i'm gonna be reading off my list um the next one is millie tilden T tilden yeah and it is a shifter dating service, which is really cute and funny. This one has more of a um, variety of protagonists, like I was talking about in my last video. More, more relatable women, I want to say. Like the funny friend that seems to never get the guy she wants because the guy wants the stuck up friend and, you know the pack of friends that go hunting for <laughs> their their mr right or whatever and then little do they know that mr right is like looking for them kind of thing through a dating service you know like tinder except with men and women turning into like werewolves and crocodiles and tigers and bears i think i think and i think she has one where it's um intergalactic so recommend that the next one is the King series by Heather Walden. I'll have like a list of like what I'm talking about below, so don't worry. So the King series is about these group of guys who are kings of all these different things, all these different realms, and they're each looking for their mate. Now, they're about... 7 to 8 books I read like you know it still might be going but I stopped because I was like this is a lot going on and so these women are you know various ages various types of people some are um you know the scientists the veterinarian the dentist all these different kinds of women and they meet these guys in like the weirdest ways like one of the um books have a the goblin king and you feel like if you watch the labyrinth you kind of get into that one because it's like, oh my God, is he like Jared? And then he's like, I'm not Jared. And they do a lot of references. So that was super, super funny. And 
I recommend that for all those who like the whole, you know, standalone guy saves girl, but girl is still can save herself kind of thing. Recommend it. But mind you, okay, so sometimes they'll have like bind ups and they'll have like the first three books. Highly recommend that because you don't necessarily know how you feel about the first one. And then you read the second one, you're like, oh, I like this guy more than this guy. Because that's what happened to me. I was like, oh, the first guy's kind of like, ugh. But everybody else, I was like, I can do this. I, I like this one. I like it. And so you never know. The next series had like when i looked it up well it popped up on a, a suggestion so i'm not gonna say i found it because it found me if you watched i don't know what year it was way back when toon disney was around yeah disney channel with the little you know the the wand and shit gargoyles this series by ea price is like gargoyles you know how like goliath and lisa well it's like a goliath and lisa and everybody else gets their own lover and it's great and it's funny and the characters again have variety it's on a little town and there's this you know demona kind of character who's crazy as shit but she's still really cool and you're like yes evil bad girl who's also really cool i can dig it don't really sympathize with her, but I can dig it. I understand where she's coming from. So I highly recommend that if you're, if you are a fan of gargoyles. If you're not and you're like, ah, no, I want to try something different. Still recommend it. You won't be missing out. I promise. Well, okay. I'm not going to promise because everybody's taste buds are different. So let's just say, I think you'll like it. I think that's all I can say. The next series, let me like just rephrase that. The next author I'm going to talk about has so many series. Like I'm trying to keep up. I don't like T.S. Joyce. Let me list off the series. Okay. Backstory. Most of the series surrounds like a bigger story, but it's not like a bigger story. It's like a town and each of these series are different crews of like okay i'm just gonna read the list because um yeah so there's the black queen crew red havoc panthers and no like the black wing yeah black wing crew has like a dragon and another dragon and then a really cursed um falcon and it's a mix so it's not just like one you know type of animal it's not like that red havoc panthers which they are i think all panthers i'm not sure about that it's been a while wolves of winter's edge king's mountain which has dragons and other stuff in it um harper's mountain grayback bears is what started all this all of this started because i read one grayback bear and then i kept reading boreland bears and the list goes on, but these were just a few that I've read completely. And let me just say, when I read Grayback Bears, I was like, okay, this is based around shifters coming out into the world and being accepted. And then these crews are like packs or a coven where they accept these, you know, outcasts pretty much. And there's like an A team, a B team, a D team, all this stuff. And they're all lumberjacks. So they live high up in the mountains and they're all, all, all messed up in some fashion. Physically, mentally, emotionally, they all got a backstory. Some of them have um, triggers for some people. So I will say really read the descriptions and the reviews because I can't pinpoint which trigger for which book because I don't really remember my bad. But I will say that within the book, you will laugh you will yell, you'll need to take a break in a moment because either one character is understanding and you don't understand why, you know, the protagonist female is not understanding the sorrow of the male protagonist and you're just like, how do you not understand? He's cursed, you know? 
or like vice versa like how do you not understand that her family just kicked her out and she's banished and you know they you know broke her legs or you know something like that uh small spoilers just kidding i think i'm not sure actually i'm not sure next <laughs> next i'm gonna do the alien side which isn't necessarily okay it's kind of like alien abduction romances some of them are like hunger game kind of thing but yeah so the first one i'm gonna talk about is the very first uh alien romance Kindle that I read but I will say in the beginning there is a huge huge trigger like it's I can't say that without getting annoyed it's a huge trigger so really be careful um it has a I remember there is like assault within the first chapter of it and then like it explains well there's no justification for it but it's still good so yeah just be aware of that but it is penelope fletcher's venomous alien warrior series and like it's like a reverse harem with aliens yeah aliens moving on um this one is not alien this one is more like witchcraft wizardry and harry potter kind of thing like what happens after people leave hogwarts is more like this one and this is by charlie n holmberg the paper magician series i believe they have three books i've only read two and it was the paper magician and the glass magician and i think they have a plastic magician but it's really 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 good it's about um the main female character and she just finished her last year and you don't get to pick what element you get to you know to use whoever sponsored your your schooling whoever paid for you know your schooling they pick so that's also really good because you don't the protagonist doesn't get to pick what they do they get you know like the hat the sorting hat kind of thing yeah um Another alien abduction is by Susan Trombley, and it is the Iridon's Test Subject series, where um, these aliens are kidnapping all different kinds of races and slapping them together, kind of like the centipede, but it doesn't go that far. Yeah. Because, mind you, I don't really care for horror, so yes. Next. Stormy McKnight, the Terranu, Terranu series where these older, older mature women with all these um, various stages of life and, you know, either are terminal or whatever the case is, get these like tickets and they, it's like a getaway except they're being abducted and, you know, they don't have family you know it's a very extensive process to kidnap someone i'm learning in these like books so yeah but this one has has a lot going on like it's really good again like every book could be a standalone but for this series i feel like you have to read number one in order to get like number three because they explain of course more in number one than in like four yeah but you follow them up with like everybody no way no there are some characters i didn't like i was like oh, i could skip this so i did I just skip the whole chapter moving on stacy jones chosen series i've read this four times why because it was so cute this girl is abducted and then stranded on this planet with these monkey alien men albino monkey ate what they i don't know i don't know there's a picture in the kindle thing of what they look like you let me know what you thought it was 
like they're men and they're tattooed and they have like four arms and a tail and anyways anyways so they reverse harem and it's hilarious because the protagonist is hilarious through the whole thing like you get through the whole language barrier you get through the different customs it's really funny very funny highly recommend it's one of my favorites and michael scott girls king of dinosaurs <sighs> let me tell you about this series it is about a dog catcher who gets sent off into the stars and placed on this planet to survive with dinosaurs and it's like a game like he has like a little icon thing and you know different powers and he meets a thundercat i'm gonna call her a thundercat because that's how she's described as a thundercat and then a spider woman and there's one more a stone woman yeah so okay so have you seen steven universe azmuth yeah she looks like azmuth so yeah and they come together and unite and put all their different powers together to survive it is like hunger games with jurassic park with the never ending story now if you don't know what the never ending story is shame on you and go watch it and then come back and let me know what you thought but if you're old enough to know what the never ending story is good on you good on you now contemporary because i have a few not many sorry but i have a few so jenna Aston's wrong series is hilarious age gap love let me just tell you off the back i think the longest was 10 years there's a 10 year gap 20 and 30 so yeah it's funny comedy it's very dirty it's like the first one is called wrong and it's about a barista who's trying to make it through college and she falls in love with her OBGYN. Yeah, it's like that. And moving on. So, <laughs> Bella Arroya, Shot Collars. This was the Russian mobsters romance, but I don't know if they're Russian anymore. Like, I, I thought I was gonna put that, but I don't know what they really are. I'm sorry, they might be Russian, they might not be. It's called um lev and it is about this wonderful wonderful homeless girl who steals 20 bucks out of a stack of cash just to buy everyone on the on the block of homelessness a sandwich and so she's like i'll work it off or you can kill me you know whatever you want to do and one of the brothers that you know has the stack of cash was like I want to keep her as a pet but not really a pet because she's homeless and they're like well no forget it she didn't steal a hundred dollars or more she stole 20 it's fine and then they follow her back and she's sleeping in a puddle of piss and so they take her in and then she's living with mobsters yeah it's it's like that okay Ellie Cassie wrong number right guy series what's hilarious do you get drunk and think you're calling your friend and you call some other number and you have a full conversation with them and then that that in that conversation the place around you is getting held up by gangsters and the person on the phone is a guy who's gonna come save you that's this book <laughs> okay yeah it's it's a dope book i'm not gonna go any anymore no more that's all you get okay last one is a mafia chronicles if i have any extra ones that i you know find later on after i'm editing all of this because this video is long right now i will put it down in the description just for you guys okay cara riley born in blood mafia chronicles this is an arranged marriage mobster style where they are uniting families making allies and you know the first 90 days of a marriage to a mobster 
to a scary mobster, to the mobster that goes off and like puts, you know, kills people. I don't know, that's, you don't have to read the description, but you know, he's, he's scary. He's like the monster. That's what they call him. And she's like really sweet, angelic, and wanted to fall in love for love. And that's not the case at all. This is a series and I didn't read the second one because my character fell in love and I was okay. If you do that, let me know down below because I'm good for that. Very good for that. So if you are new to the channel, hey. What's up, nerds? If you are a subscriber, how you doing? You see my shirt? Now, if you don't know what this is, shame on you. Go watch Animaniacs and then come back and then you'll understand. Moment of silence for that person. <sighs> okay, back to the show. Like, comment, share. And subscribe and click the notification because I do this weekly. Yep, and I think I'm going to be putting videos up Thursday and Friday. If not Thursday, then definitely Friday because these are the two days that I don't do as much homework on. Because I try and get all my homework done by Thursday night because I'm trying to get my life organized. And I am trying to commit back into my what? had short stories if you're curious about that i will put that down below please go check it out if you're interested there's no pressure none at all so yeah if you have read any of these books on this kindle recommendation let me know what you thought because yeah i'm i didn't even have to add cameron jace because i felt like you already knew that series but just in case you don't know cameron jace's insanity series there's like seven books just add it in there side note yeah let me know if you read any of the books down below and what did you think if you liked them if you hated them if you felt like the character should have died and they didn't die if you felt like she shouldn't have been with him but him let me know because we probably would agree hmm. yes so nerds closet nerds converted nerds and new nerds let's stay together and unite see ya